Hello everyone, meteorologist Tim Williams here on WJZ.com with the latest update from WJZ Weather. Temperatures going into the mid-80s today and we're not going up much higher than where we are. Dew points are still in the 70s, so it's still pretty warm and humid out there, but the heat index is not going to just soar into the triple digits. And with rain moving into the region, we're going to see the temperatures and feel the temperatures drop heading into the weekend. Most of the weekend will be only topping out near 70 degrees. Now this in the central portion of the country, from Texas up to Oklahoma and moving over across toward Memphis and into Louisiana, uh, into uh, Louisville, I'm sorry, but coming up from like Louisiana and Alabama. That is the remnant from what was Tropical Storm Gordon. Now that is moving into our general direction. It's going to feed moisture into our weather system, which is going to create showers for tomorrow and into Sunday. Unfortunately, that will play out right on into the Ravens game. Now this front's going to continue to push on through, and by Tuesday into Wednesday, again, clouds will be in the forecast, and we'll see spotty showers right on into the beginning of the week. That front could serve to help deflect what is Florence now way out in the Atlantic. And I'll show you that here in just a second. But this front is going to stay uh, close enough by and stall to our south and keep showers in play for this afternoon and into tomorrow. Uh, better chance for thunderstorms as we get into this evening. And then just steady rain at times for Saturday and Sunday could be a bit of a washout of your plans. And definitely pack the poncho if you're going out to the Ravens game on uh, Sunday. Kickoff is at 1 o'clock, and as you see, we start to see showers right around the top tier of the state, right on across from New Northeast Maryland, right on into the western portion of the state. Now, Tropical Storm Florence now expected to uh, strengthen to a Category 3 storm, which makes it a major storm, and then jump to Category 4 status by Tuesday into Wednesday. But that means for us, is that while it is still a good distance out, it is moving into our general direction. That front that I showed you may help to just kind of steer it and push it up to our north and northeast. We'll have to keep an eye on that because all the models now, as of the last update, have it making a pretty uh, drastic swing toward the eastern seaboard. Here are the barrier islands of North Carolina. Most of the models have it just south and uh, southeast of the barrier islands, but we still have about a week to go and a lot of that activity making its way to the eastern seaboard. So we'll have to see how that impacts us over the next several days. 86 degrees with a chance of showers and thunderstorms for today. Down to tonight to about 69 degrees, a shower or thunderstorm around. And then here's your seven day forecast going into the Ravens forecast. Well, 72 on Saturday, showers around. Steady rain, especially in the evening on Sunday, 71 degrees. And then we jump 81, 87, 86, and 82. But you see, we lose those 90s. No more heat wave in our immediate future, but a good bit of rain. And by Wednesday into Thursday, we'll be keeping a very close eye on Florence. There's your latest update from WJZ Weather. We'll see you here with another update on WJZ at 4 o'clock. Till then, have a great Friday.